Hello, welcome back. I am your host. Fly. <laughs> Don't go laugh. Okay, sorry guys. Very safe. Right. Right. Yeah. We're back. How are you guys doing? Pretty good, pretty good watching the games, enjoying the games. Yeah, I saw you watching the games. How about you, Moo? The last one was a real barn burner. Uh-huh. I don't get that one, but I can at least kind of get the context. Infer, you know. Yeah, how about you, BSJ? Uh, you know, Broodmother. Yeah. Exciting yeah. hero. It's exciting hero to watch. You know, really fun. We Play tried that one. It wasn't so fun for us, but uh, it was fun for Ramses. So I mean, good. they had an absolute last pick, and like it was just like the perfect game for Brood. Some, sometimes karma strikes the Brood pickers, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's going to come back to bite them somehow. Uh, yeah, actually, you only get one. You know, we won game with Brood. And yeah, then, then the next time next. Karma comes, yep, swoops up, in. You know. All right, cool. Well, um, second game here. I think VP is looking pretty damn good. I don't think they lost a single game this tournament, right? They have not. Oh. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. So is it true that they're going to replace uh, Keech, Mr. Artstyle, with Solo? <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> probably not, but no, no. I mean, he's doing well here as a stand-in. I imagine it also, it, it could help them in a way that they're they're probably a bit more relaxed. They're probably just trying to have fun with their coach, you know? Not always a bad thing to have a stand-in, I think. Ah, I agree, I agree. It looks like the game already started, by the way. Yep. This time VP is first pick. Last game, I believe, there was second pick. Um, yeah, they let's had last see. Pick, we so. banned Omni Venge, Tusk. What, what is this Venge ban about? This is some team specific. I, I've never even seen them run Venge, actually. Maybe it's a filler? I don't know. Could be. Yeah, throwaway ban, you mean? Yeah. I, I don't even know if they banned the first game. I know they banned Tusk and Omni, but I'm not sure about the third one. Might have been Venge. So I, I, I don't know reason to ban Venge. Yeah. Like, not sure about it. I feel like you, you, they just remaining. don't ban something and then they pick this bane and they're like, hey. Do, do something about it, you know? Yeah, I see it. All right, so like you're, you're one game up in a best of five. Just that looks tight, right? That's like, that's what they always pick. But well, there's Ogre, too. Yeah, the thing is, they, they played the three games in a row, right? Two, two times against you guys, and then the last game, and they just lost with it. So this is just, they might want to switch it up. Maybe they'll go for like a first phase morphing or something because they just lost to it, but otherwise it might just be an ogre again looks like maybe they'll go for the et yeah oh, there yeah. it is that's, that's one of their call. classic openers good call kind of denies the morph in a way as well does it though vp yeah, has no VP problem picking morphing in the counters <laughs> sure that's true yeah, i feel they, like they just don't care they, they might not anywhere. care but i think it's still like uh, it it's kind of denies like the core morph in a way they have two supports that are both pretty good against core morph uh, I think um, this is some classic opener Fnatic usually runs and the interesting thing is that Pi is actually the one that plays the Elder Titan and he he starts with boots and then he turns into the position 5, he buys all the wards and DJ just farms in Rubik. Yeah, it's, so. I don't know if it's just a Rubik thing, I think they did it with Wyvern too, right? When they had like, yeah, uh, yeah Knights, Pi was playing the Night Stalker, so... It's something they have going, like I think Secret does a similar thing on some heroes, not Elder Titan, but they do this puppy on melee supports, Night Stalker, or Ogre, whatever, and then uh, Yapsor gets the farm, so yeah. I think they're going for some similar approach. Yeah, uh, they also play this offlane, right, on uh, Ohio? They, they do, yeah. they do. It's something to, to keep in mind. When we were drafting earlier today, it was something we mentioned, that if they pick ET, then they have it on multiple people playing it, and it's just an opener they like to play with, and uh, I think team fight is something that's good to have for Fnatic under supports with the cores they play. Yeah. Uh, this is what something we wanted to prevent, and I think when they pick a Rubik Ogre, they're kind of shutting themselves down in terms of how they want to approach fights, so they rely a lot on different picks than usual. Um, so I think ET is a good hero for them, but I think VP is good at punishing uh, these types of heroes. They're very fast, so. Yeah, let's see what they go with the Bane here. Oh, it's Earth Spirit. Same as last game, pretty much. Just Bane instead of Shadow Demon. So what do you think about this? How does the Earth Spirit match up? to their position for, I mean, it's a Rubik, so it's a bit weird, but you can consider the ET4 in the beginning, I suppose. I, I would say both of those supports are pretty good against Dirsh, but it, it's it's like two supports that are scary. If you if you try to go on this mid hero and there's a Rubik there, you might just get lifted and you're in a bad spot. Same with ET, sort of. Uh, I would say ET or Spirit later on in the game, it, it goes both ways because you have like a silence that's pretty easy to cancel the stomp and stuff, so. I think the Rubik against Earth Spirit on lane is pretty hard for Earth Spirit, and the ET can can kind of go both ways. Mm -hmm. well, what do you think, Mu? Well, Earth Spirit? Uh, yeah, about this opener. Who do you prefer, like, going in? Uh, I'd rather be BP, I think. Yeah, just because of the Bane. Bane's just big man. Five armor. Yes, it is a big man. Is it the man? <laughs> what is it, actually? I mean, it's like a ranged ogre in my mind. 
No, but what is the creature being? Is it like? Yeah. Is it, it a lore? Yeah. It's it. Yeah, I it's think it's just. It's, I think it's just. Yeah. It's like a like the movie, you know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. It's a monster that gives you nightmares. Yeah. Staple gun you. It actually sure. fits pretty well. <laughs> 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 All right, so we got more fan this time, even though they have the ET. It's not. They don't feel like it's enough. The Tinker ban. I think this is a very good ban against Fnatic. Tinker ET is a classic combo, and I think he plays one of the best Tinkers. Um, it's something to mention actually that I think Fnatic is better with second pick because I think they rely a lot on Abbott having a good win condition here. I was thinking the same thing earlier when we were watching it. But yeah, when they, when they picked OD I was kind of concerned. Like it's yeah. not... The it's VP not just baited them. They picked this DK and they were like, yeah, we're probably gonna like throw away this pick and then they're gonna pick something and we're gonna counter it last pick and it's pretty much what they did. Yeah, it worked out really well. I mean, obviously it was, it felt planned at least. Abaddon they, ban. So they do they play anything else than Underlord? Because that's all I've seen is Underlord, Abaddon, and Omni from them, and the other two are banned. So. Uh, I was talking to Adam, their coach, and I told him not to pick Underlord. Yeah, I said the same thing. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't he do likes it. Tide too, right? Uh, yeah, he likes Tide. He likes those team fight frontliners. Tide's pretty nice against Bane, right? Yeah, Tide, Tide's actually pretty good there. I mean, yeah. you, get, you can get silenced by Earth Spirit and Nightmare, but it's it's still kind of hard to do that. Uh, I would say there's there's a bit of an overlap with the ET and the Tide, but there it is. it's uh, it's just like if you if you get BKB, a lot of those like. I love their spells for you. I was gonna say Razor was the immediate response. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it feels like VP know what know what they're gonna do. Like they were yeah. laughing when they picked the ET, like predicted, and then. Yeah. I think the like the way the Fnatic drafts, it's it's pretty much the same. Like if they, you know, they look at the Abaddon, the Underlord, the the Tide. Maybe now they kind of gonna go away from this Underlord, but it was definitely like VP saw it coming. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. The Razor insta pick, they get good core matchups. Yeah. That's what VP wants in the end. They want to have a. Uh, Winning lanes. Yeah, that's that's a rough spot to be in on second pick when you have to if you want to pick your off lane right. third there. All right, I don't know about this. Bat and Tinker are out. Those are like two heroes like in different lanes. So Do they go for a sniper here? You don't like TV? I think it's just dangerous. I mean, what they're gonna do is actually they're gonna pick this and they're gonna um, keep it open in a way that either Abed plays it if it's a really good TV game or just Envy plays it if it's not the best TV game. I'm pretty sure that's what they want to do because they have second pick. So, I, mean, I, think, I think it's fine. They needed a hero like this though, right? To push out lanes? Like yeah, I mean, TB matches up pretty well against Razor, right? You, just, you can't really go into you if you're both kind of farmed, and but illusions. you don't see the matchup. So it's a bit scary. What if VP picks a good hero? I mean, Bath is out, so they, maybe they planned it already. You gotta, you gotta pick something there. I don't well, know what What else. do you want to play here as an offlaner when you see this? What, uh, the, the Terrorblade? The and you can something? assume it's probably Envy playing it. Something like Legion looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that wouldn't be bad actually, but I'm a little, like, you need to shove lanes a little bit because Bane and Earth Spirit aren't going to do it. I That's think, true. I think the Legion against Titan ET is, is pretty rough. Like, you, you commit with a duel and there's like two heroes that will, will stop your backline. You know, they can't really get you can If you can get rolling though, like Shadow yeah. Demon, it's good. Shadow Demon is not bad. They might pick an offlane nest even though it might be a little weird. This could be a good hero. I don't mind it though, honestly. Like, it's a little weird that how it would work, but I'm trying to think what Pasha usually, li usually likes. They Puck is pretty seven. good here, actually. Yeah. Right, master. I mean, that's just the, the the classic, right? You throw up the tide, you dispel the TB illusions. Yeah, it's it's not bad. I'd say it's not the worst lane for TB, but it's. I mean, it gives VP a team fight to like come back into this. Because if they pick something like LC, then yeah, I don't see them fighting them in a million years. Yeah. You needed the team fighter. You needed something to shove lanes a little bit, and then you needed something that can also like lane on its own. So Brewmaster's okay. At least you can make TB sad by yeah drunken haze. Yeah, I, I think they. It's also like they can pick a hero off and they can't, that doesn't really have to solo because they have their racer against Tidehunter, so they can sort of leave him alone up there and they can maybe like play like <laughs> sort of pseudo aggro Trilane. Do you ban Brood with this lineup? I, I mean, it's oh. just a respect <laughs> ban at this point. Yeah, it's probably like they just don't want to deal with it. Yeah, I don't think VP was over. Like they're not looking at this and like, yeah, this looks like an amazing Brood game, even though it's not bad. It, they they might have still picked. It. Uh, no, they actually wouldn't, right? Because they don't have last pick. I mean, uh, it could be like the case where they just pick it so. Like Fnatic has to respond, you know. They need. They feel like they need to. They, they limit Abbott's pool for the last pick. That might be an idea. I also feel like though it's much easier to deal with Brood if you have two heroes instead of just one. Yeah, that's true. So oh. I, just <laughs> I think they, <laughs> if they banned TA and picked Brood, it would have been good. Yeah. yeah. Then, you know. Maybe maybe when their second pick we'll see it again, but I don't think they're gonna do it as first pick, like this. I think this is. A Actually, a slightly annoying situation for VP. I think they're like this last pick from Fnatic could be very strong. They don't have much time either. They, they they five seconds. This is the tower damage, right? right? For Fnatic, where they get a straight like uh, matchup counter here. They know like VP have to pick a mid hero and then Fnatic respond instantly. So 
This is the advantage of second pick, I suppose. Right. Yeah, so they got time. They can choose whatever. I think VP has a bit of a trouble closing the gap here uh, if they pick some long range here against Razor and SF. I actually think this is a really, it turned out to be a very good TB game. Um, I agree. Just TB gets fat. I mean, what do you think, BSJ? You're the TB specialist. Yeah. <laughs> no, I definitely like think this is an ideal terribly game. You can't like run into towers because of the brood blink. Like you can't. It's hard to group up and push until before until he or sorry after he has that. Um, but it's like really easy for you to split push lanes and you feel safe. Like the only catch they have is is the two supports and Bane's not particularly good at catching heroes like TB that can kind of protect themselves with like the illusions. Uh, I think something like you think something like sniper or co-op's good here. Like I feel like either mobility because they lack catch. Um, and they can kill the Shadowfane mid, or something that, uh, like you said, is long range. I like co-op more, because then it gives Tide a hero to play around. If you, if you pick Sniper, the Tide has to just kind of walk in, or if you pick co-op, the co-op can go in, and then the Tide can follow. Co-op's an Abed hero, right? Yeah. Yeah, he used to play it a lot, especially for DC. But I think they just want him in win condition, and... That's true. It, yeah. It's a bit tricky. You I can mean, also pick an EE hero, though, right? They, they could, but I don't think they want to put this TB mid against SF. It's I, not, I think it's they, not gonna they be want good. to last pick up its hero, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I think so, too. I mean, they can pick TA if they want a good matchup, but they're going to put Bane mid and he's going to suffer, so I don't think that's good. Anything, anything the Fnatic picks, I like if they have a blink dagger on it, or some kind of mobility, because that way Ty doesn't have to go blink. Yeah. He can just buy tank items and walk in and tank spells. What happened to a hero like Marana? They have a lot of setup for that, too. It's just weak. It's just I think the, the way VP is thinking about this is that no matter what, they have this Bane SF middle and they're going to bully pretty much any hero that's picked right now. Yeah. And they have the Razor top, so they don't care about this Tide Hunter. So whatever they pick now, alright, PL. I like that. That's, that's, yeah, I like it too, though. That's pretty solid. solid. I would say SF is it gives them really like, at least in a link condition, and it's it's something that Fnatic's been picking a lot and yeah. have a lot of success with. Like mid to late game, he's one of the hardest counters to SF, I think. Because you can uh, go on him and he can't really stop you from running at him. And if you ever try to ult, he can just stop getting your dodge it too. So you don't really have a counter play to him up in your face. I think, I think the way they're going to play is they're not going to ever run into VP's draft. They're just going to send their illusions, use their spells like ET, Rubik, and use Tide as like the the space. Yeah. Like if they ever run into the Fnatic draft, Tide ravages. But Tide's never going to go in on VP drafts. Oh, predictions. Who's going to win? I'm gonna go with VP. I'm gonna go Fnatic. I like, uh, like, compared to last game's draft, I, I actually think Fnatic has the draft advantage this game, but I, I do think VP's a better team, but I'm going with Fnatic. I'm Only because go... they didn't pick Underlord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go VP because I think they're better, the, the better team, and what I see from Fnatic is that they have this TB and PL, and these guys are not gonna play together for pretty much the entire game. They're gonna have, they're gonna be on two different places. And VP is a very fast team, and if you give no one a good lane, which I think this is a very good lane for him against PL, he can snowball the game a bit too too fast. And if they get this rush and they hit high ground, I don't know what Fnatic actually does. They need to buy time, and if if they get to that point where they take one good fight, that they wipe VP, they're probably going to win the game. So I think there's a bit of a clock on uh, VP doing the right things, but this is a lot of the times how VP plays anyways. They play fast and they don't care about having the better win condition. That seems like an EU bias uh, couch over there. I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I agree. EU VP likes to... Versus C? I agree with everything you said, but, you know. VP likes to keep their drafts open. I just really like... Uh, I like Fnatic's, and I like Fnatic's drafts. I have faith in them. I believe yeah. in Jackie. Yeah, I, I do too. The only thing I'm not sure about is this uh, Brewmaster against TB, because I feel like I've... Uh, I remember testing a, a bit, like, the, the spell on the illusions, and I feel like even when TB gets really... Like, the illusions have really high HP, they just die to the spell. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure about that matchup. It's been a while since I tested it, but I feel like there's there's something rough about it. So that's I'm going with. Uh, I would say that it's it's pretty strong until a certain point where TP gets enough HP. But yeah, it's, it's really hard it's to gonna get enough take a while HP too. on TP though. Yeah. Now they nerfed his strength gain and stuff. Like he doesn't ever really have enough to keep his illusions alive. It does like, so doesn't it do like over 3k damage or something? Not 3k. I think it does around like 800 or something like that. So, illusions. But yeah, it's like 800 or 1,000 amped, like by the... But they will do a good chunk, even when he's like, like he four, four items in. He'll, yeah. His illusions will take a lot of damage, enough to get AoE down by the rest of the team. But the, the PL is the bigger issue, right? For the yes, master? PL is the win condition. You, you can't think. actually do anything to his illusions. If you kill them, yeah. they just come back. If they can give PL a good lane. I don't know if that's possible. Are they putting him... No, they're they're putting him mid. It they're looks like Fnatic is going to aggro here. With the TB bottom right now. Yeah, oh, they don't want the Razor against the Tide. Yeah, that's a good move, I think. Should he have skilled his, his W there on Rubik? He skills it every game. 
so like that we've played against. <laughs> is it the help to die? Did it's just, just for the lane. They yeah, shove yeah. it out and they and last it. Yeah. I think it's fine. I mean, it's like minus 28 damage, right? Or 26? So it's like Some impossible to fuck. It's impossible to do anything. 20, yeah, 20, 20 level. Yeah, that's, that's significant. We got art style mid here. My boy. Ready to. <laughs> just tap brain away. Sap people. It's position 5, fun 5, is this what you do? It's actually getting kind of miserable. I think, uh, I actually think this deny thing is a silly mechanic in Dota because it takes away a lot of what support, but like you, you just can't play certain supports in the game. You want to play a Crystal Maiden right now, you'd, you want to have a 30 damage, 270 movement speed here in the game? I don't think so. I, mean, I feel like it's killed all the offliners too. I, th I think the biggest problem is that like neutrals are really bad and like uh, What's it called? Like killing heroes early on is really bad. So you don't have a lot of options. I feel like as a sport, it's, it's literally way better to just deny creeps on the lane to then to run around and kill heroes, which is absurd. It's, it's, I think it's boring. To be it's honest. boring, and it's, it doesn't really make any sense. In my mind. It's funny because carries earlier in the couch were saying how much they love it. Yeah, of course, course. They, yeah. Just, <laughs> they just sit in their lane. But now I have to play Brewmaster every game, and you don't actually do anything. You just drunk in haze and hope that you don't, they miss and don't get a deny. Oh, yeah, but I can tell you right now, carries they don't like Brewmaster just for that reason. Yeah, we that's why you pick it. That's why we pick it. Yeah. You just you haze that's, them and you That's taunt. why we ban it. You don't <laughs> even you don't even get CS. You just hope they don't get denies. <laughs> All right, well, this mid lane is going really He's good for VP. Probably, oh, oh, second race miss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, got him. Could have maybe just ran away there. I think he has boots, right? Yeah, he has boots in the spirit. He probably could have ran away. But this is Pilot I were talking about. He wants to die. Yeah, I'm not sure if he wanted to die like that, but... Nah, th this mid lane is going to get out of control, I think. Yeah, it's going gonna, gonna, gonna to get harder and harder for the PL, probably. If the tower dies early, then it's really rough. A VP swapped the Brewmaster bot. I feel like Fnatic should just respond and keep this uh, terribly top. Rivik's already TPing top. Yeah. yeah, I think they're gonna do it here. Yeah, they, they have to, because this Brewmaster is gonna get too much. But I think Racer TP, oh, he didn't actually, he walked up here, huh? Yeah, he, oh, he wow. did actually walk. He has boots first. He, he did this a lot on, on Ramses. He's dead here. Oh, he's dead. At least he has a TP, right? Yeah. Feels good, man. Playing really aggressive. Whoops, oh, that's a nice one. Wait, that solo was a kill. solo kill. That's, that is actually. What is, really what is the skill build on Abed? Is it two? Oh, okay. oh, no. No points rush. Oh. Yeah, usually people have been going for like the one or two points in rush before even putting a point in Lance. If he's just playing a little too aggressive, I guess. That, that, that is, is, that's really big. That is a yeah, huge yeah. thing. Because now mid lane, is, he's not going to oh. feel as good. That's a good move by Jackie. He's, he waits for the racer to TP top, and as soon as he sees him TP, he TPs up there. So now racer has to run again if he wants to dodge the lane. Yeah, he doesn't want to move anymore, though. Yeah, he doesn't. He might just... Uh, he might actually die here again. Yeah, there's three, he's tapping four, a lot of damage. There's four heroes here. They can come without TP intrusion. Okay, Maybe boots not. here, boys. Boots first. I actually like the boots first from Ramsey though, he plays Razor. Oh, a little <laughs> miscoordination there. Right. Razor has a lot of damage though. Look, 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 at, look at this, look at this Bane is just manning up to four heroes. <laughs> the range oh, the boy. very fire. That's an Ash like classic very fire on support. <laughs> Alright. Do they have a lift soon? They should. I think the is probably gonna die in the mana. This is mana. the dream for Oh, Foster. Spirit was way off the mark by Pi. Okay, so we good. Gonna die. I like what uh, this is good is stuff. Ohio did though. He stayed top to get a kill with Gush. I mean, right now they might be like three heroes chasing this guy. Yeah. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that's a good move. Don't look at the CS score. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can put it back. <laughs> Thank you. Ohio's happy right okay, now. Okay, it was actually not that good right. when no, you think no, about no. it. This whole thing. It's, it's all about the creeps. That's the problem. Yeah, this is a problem. Even if they kill VP, they're gonna come back to the lane, so they're gonna keep continuing. Uh, I feel like VP understands is that if they die, it doesn't matter. Like, Probably. they have a brewmaster farming, they're just like, okay, well... Alright, big Gucci. We back on track here. No one's back. Almost... Oh, yeah, almost a 2k yeah. lead now. Yeah. Two solo okay. kills in the mid lane now, one each way. Yeah. Already. The brewmaster's super far ahead, because he just All had right. like two minutes of free space. <laughs> this is a disaster, actually. <laughs> this is... This is one of the things that VP is probably the best team in Dota about, this whole laning. Uh, they're just super good at laning, and their cores are... They know the core matchups extremely well. They always know what hero to put against what, and then they just... They play lanes. I think they should, good. like, stop trying to help the Terror Blade against the Razor and, like, maybe look for a gank on the Shadow Fiend, because, like, if they continue to try to help him top, like, he's not nearly as strong as the Razor when he doesn't have meta, and, like, I feel like they're just putting a lot of effort into a lane that 
they're losing the other two too. So that, that kind of just leaves you losing all three lanes. Yeah. Can you even help Tide? I, I mean, I'm saying like a gank, yeah. Yeah, this bot lane is probably just gonna be a wash, like, from now on. Maybe this Tide, or Bruce gonna split on the Tide, but I don't feel the supports are gonna move down here. They're probably gonna move mid of anything. Looks like they're smoking mid right now, Ooh, maybe, arcanes. on Fnatic. I actually don't mind Arcanes. You just spam the nice. Tide now. Hey. Yeah. They heard me. Can you make sure they're but not the thing checking is, the stream? This is a pretty obvious smoke, because VP supports are running into the jungle. Uh, I, I feel like no one shouldn't have died here. No, you shouldn't have. Oh, whoa, Lil's here, boys. With the maybe, kick. Maybe it was They might get a return kill. Maybe it was Lil's. Nice. Alright. He tried to turn. Alright, that's. I think they still needed to do that. He's level 4 on the kill. Did, did, did. The problem is, it, it doesn't really accomplish a lot. Oh, he has no mana. Where's your canes now? Alright, two mana off. If he waited for the gush <laughs> and then sticked, we're good. <laughs> would you have waited for the gush move? Probably not. Okay. I probably would have miscalculated as well. <laughs> would get excited. I would. Uh, I think they have to kill this SF again. They have to shut him down. I mean, this was a good kill. I think it was better for Fnatic overall, even though the PL died, but it's a bit iffy. I look at the levels. This guy is almost level 7, and PL is 4, close to 5. Yeah, they're, they're MB's joining MB's in MB's the coming party. in. This Boys. is an MB classic. MB's having a really DD Terrorblade with meta. He's going to hit for like 200. I feel like it's his MV every game, though. Has a hard time in his lane and comes mid. There right. you go. This guy better die. Okay, good. DD, Eternal Envy. Yeah, uh, this is... He's all three. I actually feel like Envy is resigned to becoming a support in this team because like DJ, you know, farms a lot and Ohio farms a lot. Abbott farms a lot. Yeah, yeah, somebody has to do something, right? You should pile that and Jackie running around and creating yeah. space. Yeah. Okay, they want to defend this tower. Like, they don't want to give away this mid tower. It's a bit too big right now, so we'll see if they can. Catapult yeah, hitting. Some, some good scouting with the illusions. Yeah, he's pulling the wave away. Never mind again. This is the E I know and love. Yeah, level yes. four tower push. Nice. All right, they're going. This guy's dead. This feels right. very, very rushed. This was. Oh, he's he dies here. But he's gonna get rooted. <laughs> oh, look at that. See, calculated. Oh. No RNG necessary for that one. No, absolutely. That was not. a lot of space though. The tide's gonna push bottom now. He's already at the tower. DJ's getting some levels top. It was good damage on the tower, but either way, it wasn't like completely calculated. Yeah. It could have just backed off. Uh, yeah, they had to do something though, so yeah, I, I appreciate it. It was good. I think the idea was right, but they should have probably just like backed off. Yeah, backed off. I feel like they're just like they feel like they have to do a little bit more, and they kind of do, but it, yeah, I mean it's a hard spot to be in. They probably should have backed off when they saw the SF. I like this four staff by uh, the tide against the razor specifically. Uh, I think I don't know. It, it'll help, but. He needs to force staff his teammates. And then he's just brown boots force fast tied. Is that not the dream? It's not the dream. Oh, okay. Alright, these it's guys are upset. Here comes Ramsey's 666. Slow down. Oh, almost. Raindrops. Is that a max Q on Ramsey's so you can farm? Yeah, it has to be, right? That was so much damage. Yeah. Nice. No E. Wow. It, it like makes it really hard to see us randomly early on. I feel like you only get it for kills, and by the time he was gonna maybe kill people, they were all gone to the mid lane. I actually like the max plasma field on Razor. I think it's underrated. There's like people don't always do it, and I think it's just it's very useful. It's a farming steroid, when right? You, when you win your lane, you have max plasma field. You can farm a lot. Because your mana region is actually fine. Oh, they forced the split bottom by going on him. Uh, this split's gonna be maybe for nothing, maybe for a kill. We'll see. I don't know if this is enough actually to I kill. Don't him. Think, I don't think. So. Yeah, I think I actually kill time. I need SF for this. I just push. They might turn around. Yeah, they might if, turn. If this. he stay, he's staying on Brew. He's gonna, he's gonna ravage the. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. Is that a necessary ravage? Uh, you might as well use it. Right? Might die too okay. for it. I don't mind if it. This guy dies. Yeah. That's good. It's worth. Yeah, 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 that, uh, yeah. The fact that he clipped the air spirit. Nice, nice. That's good for Fnatic. Everyone. Yeah, turn on these here. Level four, ready to go. <laughs> he can't go top, dude. He can't go mid. Yeah, no, I'm, Jungle, I'm not even flaming. Jungle's like, not worth it. Like, I don't know. This yeah. is his best play, even though it's level four push. <laughs> I, I feel like the, the biggest problem for Fnatic was the entire like uh, TB against Racer matchup. They didn't it didn't really work out for them. Like they they got it pretty well with the Racer kill and then he TP top, but he wasn't really CSing. So oh, oh yeah, oh. TPs. The map's gonna open up for Terrorblade with these towers though, so I think it's like he's a hero that can recover decently well. GP's making sure they don't take. Yeah, see, he's top now. He's gonna get some I, nice I think, farm here. I think that was good for Fnatic because they forced the uh, VP to move, even though they don't have any spells. So. Pretty good for Fnatic. Look, they're gonna get like the entire top of the map here to farm. Yeah, they're happy with this for sure. He will gain a lot of levels and then come back into the game. 
Oh, Bane might be in trouble here. Do they have another lance? Yeah, they're pretty deep. Jackie's here. It's probably just an awarding mission. You got one down right there. Such as life. Terrorblade's a great comeback hero. He is. Uh, I think Fnatic is. They're gonna play this dodgy game, and, and like Envy's gonna have to farm for a very long time to be relevant in this game. Like PL is is doing okay, but I think um, VP can kind of force things with split. Like there's no way that Fnatic actually fights them when they're How split up and they're together. On uh, Brewmaster, he almost has dagger. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty huge for them. Like they don't really have a way to force fights Maybe until that and Bane six. So I think I think for Fnatic, they they kind of just need like this Rubik and the ET to be defending towers, and then this Tide pushes out lanes like a madman, and then TP can push Lucian push with the Lucians, and PL can just sort of farm. So just like just put pressure on the map and like have these supports defend towers because they're pretty good at defending with Rubik and ET. They can not die and like have lanes to farm is really good for them. I let die here showing a little what's up. Yeah. What now? Alright. <laughs> Random screeches in the background. <laughs> I mean, this game is all about mentally bullying people, right? And I kind of want that war right there. Yes. Did, so it's important. Did I ask for a place that ward while he was dying before? On the one on the ancient camp? This was a bit before he died, oh, okay. the one close to it. But I mean, Arsa is just on a mission everywhere. He's always out. out I and feel about. like every time I see him, he's just dying. And I don't, yeah. I don't know that's bad. Like, uh, I mean, it's not good. You could say. I mean, it's not the worst in the world. Cause it, like, the thing is, when heroes are starting to get level 4 and 5, kills actually give you something again, you know? Yeah. So, I think it's good. Like, Envy's level 7 all of a sudden. He was like 4, now he's 7. He, he's starting to get happy, and they're gonna do this wraparound middle. Yeah, this could be really game. good for Fnatic. Let's see. Courier died. Brilliant Courier. But Jack. so is this guy. The Courier is actually huge. Wow. And the uh, really good Red Quinn. Is it level 1 Requiem though, right? Yeah, it's still 50% damage reduction. Yeah. Alright, the split is here, but they're not gonna get anything the out of this. This is really good for yeah. Fnatic. Like, perfect. I feel like this is the kind of game Fnatic wants to, is a longer game. If they can do this, and they can keep doing this, it's, it's perfect for them. They're just stalling for now. Yeah, this is what they need to do. Like, if this game gets to 35 minutes, and the game is, like, not completely out of control, they can win this game off of PL and... TV. Most mid PLs go for treads, but I really like that Abed went for is like ground boots saving for bots because, like you said, they're really gonna try to slow down the game, I think. And uh, that'll like their lack of catch on VP will allow him to split push and kind of kite them around the map. It might also be a thing uh, that he's he feels like he's behind, so he wants to have his diffusal faster. He's only at 38 CS right now. Yeah, he's actually really under front. I know it's a really hard lane for him, yeah. but. I guess that's just so. The map is. opens up now. The tier two. They actually have the start. gold lead now on Fnatic. Yeah, that's very big. I think Ohio has been doing a really good job this game. Yeah, he's he's pretty high net worth actually. I think they like oh, looked okay. at the picks and were like, we can't win this mid lane, so they just pick like a hero that they think he can like carry the game on yeah. in terms of matchups late game. Yeah, it's probably a good. It's a good call to make. Like, if you don't feel like you're gonna win this lane anyway, you might as well have some other, like other stage of the game where you feel like this hero is gonna be, like, really good for them, which is probably their idea behind it. The problem with VP right Radius. now is I think they can't they can't take towers right like the razor's just hitting this tower alone but it's never gonna die yeah Rubik fable to know. Yeah, if you can't if you can't if you can't take towers versus fanatic TB and PL will eventually just plant off the sides of the map and push out lanes and one of them doing a farm I think this is one of the reasons why this ET Rubik has worked out so well for them like they pick they're very greedy fanatic they're yeah. just a greedy team and then they end up having the supports that can just deep push and be annoying. Making it harder for you to get objectives. Yeah. So I mean, this might be a kill here. here. Oh, oh, right. oh, good songs by Lil. Nice. He hit both of them. Oh, oh my God, God. Jackie's uh, got it. That's a Jackie with that play right now. Does not good. Yeah, I think Jackie is playing support, honestly. DJ. <laughs> He's so, going drums. That just happened. I like Pasha. Oh, stolen grip. But this is probably gonna be Fnatic dying everywhere. Oh, they can get out now. Just caught their losses. Yeah, get out fast. All right, that could have been a lot worse. The bad part is everyone with Fnatic TP dense, so they, yeah. lose, they lose control of bottom and mid lane. Yeah, I feel like the Rupik and Eat here, like... Yeah. Looks fine. Looks All right, there, there is Ravage. They could start TPing in and killing them, but... Looks I like think they already all TP'd, right? There's yeah. a Saudi. Like, that, that play was very rushed, right? Yeah. They, they don't even need to do that. They, they had PL on the bottom lane with a lot of space. I, I, I can imagine Pi is just saying, like, uh, don't, don't come here, you know? It's just like Rubik and ET, they're going for this play. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's no big deal. They're forcing heroes there. But if the cores are TPing there as well, then they don't really get anything from it. Like, they need them to be farming in this time.
Yeah, they need to just not panic and not like react too hard to things VP are doing. This could be a kill. Be nice. That's a kill. Give it to Envy. That's nice. right. That's right. That's what we're talking drums about. complete. Terrorblade 15. I feel like he always does this drums into Mask of Madness build on, e on TV. Is that not? I, I don't watch all of his streams, but I, the, the games I've seen is when he, he always buys drums with mom. I think Envy's thoughts on his team is that it, since his other two cores are very greedy, he can't go this like third party builds. Goodbye, sir. Uh, toast. All right. I don't know what he was doing there, but. I don't. I don't think that's too bad. I think if like they're they're pushing aggressively, like this pillar is farming top and they're pressuring bot at the same time, right? So I feel like oh, there might be a fight here. Pushing different targets. Nice. Oh, okay. Pushing tipping kill. in with split here. No sunder yet. 15 All right, seconds. Enemies throw up. Dead. Kill MV. And this guy's dead too. Very good play by Pasha. Ah. They're just kind of. Messing up, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like after this tide dies mid, it's already too late to make this play bot. Like it, it's already like the time they have to make it is out because VP is not really doing anything else on the map, so they have time to respond to it. If they're doing it at the same time that they're going on the tide, they might just get this kill and get out. Well, I think Fnatic can't really afford to mess up much anymore because right now they give away a big lead to VP, and that's pretty much what VP needs to win this game. Yeah. They need to be ahead, and this SF needs to be a monster and. He's kind of getting to that point. He almost has BKB. Yeah, they both have BKB. Almost. Yeah, they're same dull BKB timing. I think they're gonna want to get Roche, but uh, then like it would have been nice if Ru had the Vlads for Roche, but they yeah. can do it without going Radiance, which is I guess he wants it against PL and all these illusions. At late game, at like PL at all stages, it gets it, like he it just owns him. Honestly, yeah, he's probably just gonna go like Radiance Shivas. It's really good against both their course. Yeah. I think something, I mean, Fnatic, the way they just play, is, it's always this type of thing. There's three different heroes pushing three different lanes. Yeah, it's very greedy. Yeah. But it works out for them sometimes. I as long like as they don't lose towers, it's fine. If they organize it a bit, this game, it, it could be really hard for VP to push their advantage. Yeah. And I think uh, the problem I see with this ET tie that BKB counters it, it's, it's going to be a problem for them because this, this Roche is basically free for Fnatic or for VP if they have BKBs. That was right on top of a ward. That's oh right. yeah. no. They do have some decent poke though. Pasha's Fnatic. breaking it? No, he's not. He's they don't have split right now, so he doesn't coming. want to break it. Why do they even want to fight actually? Is there a reason? On side of Fnatic, I mean? Yeah. Well, I think why they're they worried about the Roche. Yeah, they're smoking the Roche. They have a ward actually. They do have a ward, so they can see it a little bit. But. Oh, no, no, I just that's not the worst. They can burst him. One art cell. One art cell down. Got him. Didn't get spells off. That's, that's decent, but it's not really significant. Acceptable. It's a smoke, you know, and they, they didn't really stop the Roche. They did it right on top of the ward, so. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's considering the circumstances, it was pretty good for them to get something out of it. I actually don't see really what their timing was there. Like, I, think was just, I think they just wanted to fight the Roche. I think that's all. Yeah. And they didn't know if they were doing it, maybe? They're gonna have double BKB. They should have one on SF already, and Razor should have VP his. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. VP is just like making sure they get this rush fight. And they're gonna try to finish high ground after that, or at least control and take all the towers. When, do, when does Fnatic fight them? They, they do have ET for this rush fight, which might make the BKBs a bit awkward. Like right. if they get a stomp <laughs> on the cores and then Surprise. they run in and ravage, you know, it could it could work, but. This, this racer is not very tanky. Like he, I think I feel like he could die to this TV. Oh, nice silence. I think he just probably just dead. Goodbye, sir. Uh, this is an opening for them to look at Roche, but I think they have a good ward, so they should just keep hunting them when they come to Roche. Yeah. Keep jumping and killing them. Fnatic is pushing two other lanes though, so this isn't like absolutely terrible for them. Yeah, no, it's not. They're gonna fine. Uh, this peel is still. This, he did go for the treads after all. Yeah, as I said, he was gonna go back for treads to get a bit of fusel timing. Uh oh. He has no doppelganger. TP yeah. out. TP? Yeah. He TP to the shrine actually. Efficiency. Uh oh. Let's split. It's just uh, one kill. Pi dies, I feel like that's probably gonna be the Roche if they really want it. Because he's the one who can scout the Roche. He's up in 30, so maybe they won't have time. Yeah, they're not really close to it. Can VP even Roche that efficiently? I'm not sure about the damage. This SF feels a lot of damage. They don't have a medallion though, right? They're no, building they it on Bane, but they don't have one yet. Yeah, oh, okay. Sure. He almost has it. They don't have sustain. Maybe they have Urn on Earth Spirit. There we go. The might be enough. He's farming it up in the mid lane. He does not. This, he's actually really poor on Bill. 
He has his own in his uh, yeah. he is. stash. I, I, I feel like he's missing some. Like compared to his net worth, he's not. He doesn't have the items to, you know, to match it. Illusion. Not an enjoyable support game so far. No. Not really much to do, I guess. It's the life of a bane. You do something for five to ten minutes and then you cry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the VP cores are taking up a lot this game. They have like really high net worth compared to the Fnatic cores. Yeah, this this SF is very strong right now. I yeah. think it's really hard to fight into him. He's probably gonna have like he's probably peaking like the next ten to fifteen minutes and after that I feel like this is like the ten to fifteen minutes that Fnatic are the most worried about for this SF I feel like. Yeah, they are. But they are slowly climb up, climbing back up in the gold on their cores. Right, they might get a kill here. Fnatic, Fnatic needs to get another wave of items before they right. can still go. They're force a fight here. Yeah, I feel like when, when the PL gets Manta, TV gets BKB maybe, they feel much better. Yeah. But until then, it's they feel pretty stressed and they don't want to fight. Like, oh, ever. They're gonna keep catching them here. This is a bad fight that they need to run. The bandit ship. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh. They could actually just force them to go back to base here. They could just push high ground. Yeah, looks like the tight TP bottom has to go back to base. There's no way to actually run. This might just be. This is actually a disaster. At least a tier 3, I think. Tier 3, if not the whole racks. They still have BKB SF. Yeah. That was a nice sequence with EP though, getting a kill. They didn't use any spells except for Race World. They used BKB on Razor. Actually, I mean, they force it, yeah. yeah. The tide's almost go. here. This is a perfect fight for DP. Yeah, it's Blink Ravage. I don't know if he showed the Blink before. Right, no, no. Not there. They don't want to fight. They got the range racks. You got tier 3. They go take shrines now. Get Roche. Showing some nice AC on the, on the Shadow Fiend. Now Roche will be super easy. Pushing yeah. out bottom first. Yeah. He pretty much does, though. Yeah, he yeah. just got it. That was a very farm Shadow Fiend. Alright. I mean, I guess you go AC and you end the game, right? With, uh, with Aegis. Yeah, and they know, he knows, like, the matchup doesn't get better against these Illusion Cores, so he's just like, as long as they don't have these massive items up, they only have he, uh, small items. I actually like this a lot. Better? Uh, no, no, I like this a lot because you get AC, they don't really have any tower push, right? So, like, natural at least. So they get AC, they get the, uh, the t level 20 talent, where his aura affects buildings, and then you can just kill the buildings. It's level 15. 15. Oh, is it 15? Oh, it okay, never mind. My, my plan is gone. Uh, I can see, I can see. still like the AC, The though. AC, though. The I still like I'm it. I'm not sure about is the TP reflection. It might, it might be like a double-edged sword. I'm not sure about it. Maybe it's not significant. I don't think it's that bad. Oh, he is a very experienced SF player, this guy, so he has it for a reason. He's, this guy's going Shiva's. Yeah, I mean... They're building good items, though, in general. It's also like for the Elder Titan, right? Yeah, but I sure. guess it yeah. doesn't really matter, because the Elder Titan's never going to like run on top of yeah, you. It's only yeah, this, it's only the actual hero that applies the mana. No, the, the real ET is never going to get close. That's yeah. it's dangerous. Alright, they're still kind of looking for kills here. It's a bit off. E is just dead. Oh, damn. I mean, honestly, the how does he even play when he can just die like that? VP is just kind of styling. Radiant are scanning. This. It's like, what can Fnatic actually do in this game anymore? They just keep farming and hope for the best. Yeah, it's not a good spot to be in. They're I feel like they had their chance to win this game, Fnatic, and then they threw it away, like, within a series of two to three plays that they just should have made. Yeah, but it's also, like, VP hitting a timing where they're comfortable at just, like, playing really aggro. And then Fnatic maybe not seeing the timing coming, and then they just, like, they lose, like, a hero once, and snowballs, they lose, like, they lost, like, 6k gold advantage to that. Two or three minutes. Yeah. It's only gonna get higher now because they're gonna get another. They get, they get three more towers on the outside the base, and they can claim probably all the tier threes now. I feel like it's a bit scary. Like we you know when Fnatic plays with this kind of mindset, where all what they're doing is basically just trying to dodge the opponent yeah. consistently, and VP is just like, yeah, sure. It's one of the best teams at closing, you know, the game out and finding these correct situations. It, uh, it's not a good spot to be in where they're, they're just farming to farm, you know, it's, a, it's not like they really have like, I, I don't feel like they have a specific timing where they're like, okay, this is it, now we can just go and fight them. They're just kind of just farming to, farming to get some items. Yeah, know? I feel like they had a timing or they threw it away. Yeah, maybe. Now it's way too late. They yeah, need, they that's need. a bit of the TBPL issue though. It's just two years wants to farm. And yeah, they just, they never had the chance to get five on five fight, that's what I'm saying. Like, maybe if they fought, before PKBs, oh god, then it would have, they would have gotten maybe a trade. He should come. No. 
I know for a fact Moo would taunt right there. I taunt every time on Tide. I it's... think that's the correct play. Yes. The hero's too boring to not taunt. <laughs> Definitely top taunt in the game, or one of the top. Alright, well, back to pushing waves. Here we go. What do they do? I feel like if I'm playing Fnatic, my, my comms are like silent right now. Yeah, probably. It's not really much to say. It's a good kill if they can get it. But BP's all collapsing here. Right, so. Here we go. Radiance all nine on the brew. I think. Yeah, it should be. Hi's dead. Run away. Could be fine. Yeah, nice silence. Sounds. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Forgot Earth Spirits in the game. Yeah. Uh, those yeah, been silence. pretty on point with silences. Yeah, it's been it's been it's been a really good tournament for him in general. I think he's adapted really well considering that he has like a, a new support partner. If you, it's not really dude. I guess he's a coach, but it's still like uh, he's changed a bit in this game. It's not that uh, he's a bit more sacrificial. I think. Yeah, solo is the ogre running around warding with you know, yeah. boots and nothing. Ar Arstal is not really the same. No, he's not. Uh, historically, at least. Alright, TV wants to fight. And he will fight him and get him, actually. Oh, oh my oh. god. Alright, got him. Got him. Alright, that's one. You have a void there. I feel like you hit him around the DJ point. still managed to get the EOS. He's actually surprisingly... I mean, he has an item. This guy always seems to find farm somewhere. He has eight kills. Oh, actually, yes, eight <laughs> kill steals. Excellent. He's eight kill steals. He has half of their kills. I yeah. think Abed would have wanted that, but you know, like I said, DJ is actually one of their cores. All right. Might find the SF here. He's pretty He's fast. not gonna catch him though. He's way too fast. Probably like, nah, this thing happening. He's going butter next. I think he's gonna be untouchable. Yeah, I don't know how to <laughs> kill him. <laughs> oh, got him. Got hit. Well played. That's a mental victory for Pi right there. Yes. It is. Alright, so VP pretty much took care of all the towers. I mean, there's one more mid tower. And they're out. So Can they right. actually go and force it with this? They still have Aegis. I think they, they just pop split, throw TB in the air or Tide, and then just hit the buildings. It's pretty easy. So Mail was talking about how uh, Eternal Envy really hits a timing when they're down two lanes of racks. Do you yeah. think that that's a possibility this game? As they're yeah, we talked play? about it as well. Yes, yeah, that's how it When two. Racks are down, the anime music comes up. Oh. He goes like super mode, and the game becomes a lot more hard to play. God, yeah, that applies to two games down? It, it, it two always games applies. Like, even more games lost is always, it's also better, you know? Like, it's just, it's all about the disadvantage you're at. The, the more disadvantage, the better. That's so, true, actually. Like, you gotta make sure that when Jackie's down, you gotta finish him off, otherwise, he's gonna come right back. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Surprise, and then he's out. But it's true, you know. It's always in, in every anime. You know, it looks really, really bad. You're about to, you know, die or lose the tournament or whatever it is. And the world's gonna get destroyed. Suddenly you come back, and nobody expected it, although you actually expected it to happen. Yeah. I'm just looking for their timing. You know, what you're talking about. We don't. I don't know what their timing is. No, I don't think they know either at this point. It's like that's. Like a, a bit of a problem for me when you look at these teams, you know, one team has a strategy, the other team, they kind of just pick their heroes and they're like, yeah, we will well, win. I'm, I'm sure Fnatic had a strategy. They just, they just I'm actually not so sure many. about that. Oh. <laughs> DJ. He went for the Sunder. Oh, he beat him before he's gonna die, actually. He's gonna kill them all. He might die here. He has only only the Bane here. Oh, Iron Styles. Our Styles here, boys. Does he have Rabbit? Yeah. Oh. There you go. Okay. That AC aura from the illusion. Oh my god, they're okay. killing him. Nice. This is the timing. Yeah, yeah. This is the timing they were waiting for. Oh, this see. is the, the, the rack stop. The SNY peel. The SNY peel. That's the time. Oh, wow. He doesn't go Manta against like the uh, like Earth Spirit, though? He's going BKB, so maybe he just uh, feels like it's too much defensive utility. I feel bad for him, though, when you're forced to go to these types of items. So yeah, BK, BKB peel never feels good. Actually, his razor, his razor doesn't seem that bad against Peel just because the link goes through it the double dagger. Yeah. yeah, it's more so the like they they itemize really well, knowing like their heroes don't innately deal with Peel. They just have the radiance and the shivas. Yeah, like that a lot. I feel like this SF is also gonna deal with this Peel until you get the heart. Like I feel like that Peel, that's, that that matchup might swear when Peel has a heart, but before that, it's pretty good for SF. Yeah, yeah. they have like semi even farm. It's not, but in this case, it's like yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's rough. They're just in. 
I don't He's care. gonna have two items ahead of him. Fna so Fnatic's dagger. forcing him to move around, which is the best they can do right now. They basically just got like 4k net worth back, which is pretty big. Yeah. Envy is very good at cutting waves and being yeah. an annoying. He's know. in his element right now. Yes, this is what he wants. Uh, he's getting items. He's decently farmed, yeah. actually, this guy. Not too bad. So I was like, like experienced captains, like, do you... You said you don't think they know their plan either. How often is you're like watching a match and you don't really know what their plan is, and then you learn something that you saw from the plan? Like, does that really happen anymore? Or do you feel like you've kind of run into everything? No, I mean, I feel like um, VP is very aware of how they should win this game. Maybe they're not doing it perfectly, but they have an understanding of how they're actually winning this game. And Fnatic, it's kind of like they're playing to stall it out, and eventually their carries are going to out-carry the opponent, so... They're playing con like pretty much only on win condition, but it's not really enough against the top tier teams, I think. Okay. I, I feel like the, the idea for Fnatic was to get the right day matchup. I feel like that was a big part of it. I, I thought they, this TP was going to lean against Racer and it was going to go well for them, but as soon as that didn't happen, like this TP was roaming around low three, you know, you can always see at that point that something went wrong like compared to what the plan was. And then if your plan after that is just to farm and get items, then you don't really have much of a play for like the next 20 minutes, which is a rough position to be in. You're just kind of just doing whatever you see on the map. Like, if there's an opportunity, you might go for it, but not really a great spot to be in. Look at Jackie though, this guy is already cutting waves, you know, making sure. His team, he's telling his team to kill people wave right now. So he's got a catapult though, that's oh, no. oh, wow. Oh, no. That's All right. VP knows, they see him. They start running more stuff. He's just still a wreck from here. On Rubik. Oh, no. Bad. Wait, so D2 this is it. You split. I think Jackie just go bot. Actually, he doesn't have a top wave. They have no more creeps if they can kill the catapults. They're standing strong right now. Nah, they're not gonna get the it's catapults. Oh, I like how BB is playing this. Yeah. Very smart. I don't. Oh, Ravage. Ravage in the back lane. Oh, never mind. Got the Razor. Got the Razor. They have Sunder and he's low health. They got the racks, they just they just walk away now. Alright, oh, it's time to get Yeah, this, this is the two get more. Here we go. This Anime music coming up, boys. Let's go. Two, two, this two. is the <laughs> Here we go. two racks down. Yeah, they haven't lost the melee top, I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. not really. It's like racks. intro hasn't quite started. So yet. here's the thing, I feel like I feel like T V and PR are like the new Alchemist TV, right? Like you lose two racks, but now now you farm. <laughs> and now you farm. Now the you lanes win are the always going to be on your side, so yeah. you'll always be able to farm. Excellent. Now you now you win. Yes. Alright, is Roshan actually up? It's not. Illusion oh, rune. No, never mind. Okay, this game is not over. It's, not, right. it's not over. It's not over. It really isn't. That's I mean, like the scary part. Game, I'm not even like. I'm scared at this point. Like, I would be scared too, knowing I'm up against Jackie. Two sides are down. Okay, so they got their axe right, but I feel like they just they just they just gained like 4k gold. No, they got they got like 1k. They were it was 12k for a while. Well, I mean, BP can gold gain gold too, but I think what's more important is Fnatic gains that's, gold. That's true. That's true. It's not really about yeah, the not like net worth comparison. Yeah. Yeah. I'm true. just not sure how this. I mean, maybe Abbott is like, you know, Envy, it's your time to shine for once. But this is the point of the game where SF kind of starts to fall off against these illusion heroes. Like, the raises aren't enough anymore, and then... You can start poking him down, like, significantly. He has to pop yeah. BKB, like, in an ideal scenario, then you can... Like, like Bane doesn't really do anything to illusion anymore. Uh, I feel like the brew starts to, He's starts to fall off. And you can, actually, you can actually start killing his, his pandas yeah. in the late game. I, I think it's... It's very important for Fnatic that they burst like the core with Ravage like they did there, right? They kill the Racer before his BKB and then the fight is just like... It's over, know, yeah, almost. It's, it's pretty much over. This SF is not really like that strong at all. Kind of needs his Racer there. Same for the Racer, right? Oh no. Alright, Roche is up. Roche spawns. What's a Ravage? 30 oh, seconds after Fnatic Ravage. checks. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ravage up in 35. Maybe Pike can stall it. They have. They want to fight this still. They don't want to give... But, uh, uh, you know, they're just they're stalling right, it decently. Far yeah. away. Uh, spirits, uh, it's gonna die before the spirits back. Yeah, this, this one's dead. Oh, he's ulted it. Casual ult. Okay. Right, did that even hit? Out. They need, they need to get out now. I don't think that hit. <laughs> it didn't hit. There's some weird thing with that. Oh, it. Oh, wow. Oh, they burst nice. it. Okay, go in. Go more, go more. No buyback. Oh, go, go. Chasing. He uses BKB on the Razor. Where's the cheese? Oh, he gave the cheese. This is still not good for BP, I think. Go, 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 go. Ravage off, Ravage off. This is right. the part of the game where Tide's unkillable. He's, it's up, Ravage off. Let's go. This is actually huge for Do we have anime music yeah, can on we get some Can we actually get anime music on right now? This is... This is like, oh my the goodness. DJ Requiem, boys. They might actually take this game just... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody queue up some anime I mean... Music. This, this is their timing. We're all talking smack. 
I mean, we were partially being sarcastic, me. but we I were, wasn't talking. I was, smack. Never, I was never definitely not sarcastic. I, I was partially. I'm like, but that's when they're gonna win, right? Like, if they win, it's then. Because I, like, I thought Fnatic would win this game the entire time. Yeah, we oh, called it the start. No, I thought they were gonna lose, but then BP took a Rex, and then yeah, Jack was gonna. This is another one. They thought they, you thought they were gonna GG before they took a single rack? Okay, okay, no no memes though. Yeah. Do you actually not take racks for a snag and just choke the map? Yeah, I think so. And then you take like two at once. Sort of I, like. I think they were pretty smart about how they did it. They did it, they did it slowly and methodically. Well, like the way Dota works now, you get kills, right, in the early game, like level 15, but they just respawn before you get your racks. Yeah, so why? if you wait for late game, kill them, and you'll know like, oh, they burn them again? Oh, okay. oh my god, right. no buyback! Yes. Holy moly, oh, no. oh, oh my god! god. Go and throw it. it. Go Anime throw it. music, please. You guys are missing out on a big chance of that. Although we did, <laughs> <laughs> we did call something right. We said when two racks are down, hey, yeah. DP is in trouble. They needed to finish the game. They needed to kill everything. I think that's the first correct read I had this entire game. Except they actually called it. That's <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. This is why everyone loves Jack him out. Because right. it's, it's, this is literally like anime in Dota, you know? This is yeah. actually anime in Dota. Okay, anime one for now, but it, you know, it, it, they didn't. They're up one K at the end of the game. They're up one K. Kinetic knows what happened. Jackie, <laughs> he's on face. He's on face. Like, oh, yeah.